Hey, what's good? I smoke hip hop nation and what's good YouTube family. I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I smoke hip hop. Hey, let's talk about this T600 going crazy, crazy insane on that boy Rondo number nine. This nigga, man, T600. I don't know, bro. T600 been showing exactly how a real nigga gets when he's when he's under pressure not to fold to stay on your pivot stand stand on your square my nigga and he stood on his square ever since a couple of like four or five years ago these allegations about him came about and even this shit proving him to be right after right after right and it's proven to be all this shit was stemming over a bitch for real for real to be honest with y'all just like nba young boy and jay the youngest situation over nba young boy baby mama Dirk put all this target and this drama on him over some baby mama type shit because his baby mama got plucked by tay 600 then you got e-day situation going off you know off the strength of tay 600 probably getting more love probably some music shit you could i mean every hood Every team go through their physical problems and shit like but I ain't never I ain't never seen some love and hip-hop drama like what Tay Six not Tay 600 but what Team 600 got going on right now That shit is crazy man This nigga responded in saying that this nigga Rondo number nine was a GD that turned BD and put it on his um on the kids that that it ain't true Say it ain't true and, you know, you'll be a dead lie and all this and that. That nigga putting this stamp on it that this nigga got, um, basically what Tay 600 is saying, I have to step the Rondo and tell him, nigga, what, what the fuck, my nigga, you was a GD? Like, this what he said. He said he stepped to that nigga Rondo and told him, my nigga, you, you switching sides and shit? Remember, I remember FBG Duck. He had that song a minute ago, um, it was like, BDs and the GDs, GDs and the GDs, what the fuck? Like, that shit, that shit was hilarious, like, that's exactly what these niggas is talking about and shit like that. You know, just like, I remember Killer Kells, he was a, um, a BD that turned to GDK, Insane, whatever, it, you know what I'm saying, after his cousin Jojo died, rest, rest in peace to that boy Jojo. But that's not here and there, man. I'm, I'm just speaking on this whole Rondo number nine situation. I personally feel nobody snitched, my nigga. I personally feel that boy Rondo number nine felt under pressure through a lot of shit he was he hearing through here and there, and he felt like niggas wasn't giving him love. So when you see Dirk and them boys getting on, you close to that success, you gonna feel like, man, that supposed to be me. Like, like this jail cell looking like hell right now. I need to be back on them, that other jungle, them, them streets. So I feel Ronald number nine was pretty much saying to himself, man, you know what? I'm about to say this nigga is the biggest rat in the world just to get my fucking rumors thrown off me. Because it wasn't Tay 600 who started saying that you was a rat. Tay 600 read the paperwork. And when them paperworks were presented out there, you got niggas like Vlad TV and Strawberry Mansion. They put it out and started the main rumors and all that. Tay 600 used the paperwork to show that he wasn't rat. And not only that, the paperwork showed that none of you niggas rat. The paperwork showed me all them hoes was ratting. Them same hoes, all them niggas is still chilling with that Tay 600 been telling y'all for the longest. Tay 600 been telling y'all all them niggas hang with them same bitches who snitched on them. I, like, all I read on the paperwork is everything about females snitching everywhere. I don't know where they do that at. Like, niggas is hanging with these hoes. That pussy must be so damn good to the point that you niggas could cling to the same hoes for over, like, how much years now? They snitch clear as daylight. And I'm pretty sure you niggas been you about the paperwork on them hoes. So what it is, bro, like, the pussy... Got you niggas pigeon toed, hold down, or something like that. Like, that shit is weird, bro. All that animosity towards this nigga. Say, I remember 600 Breezy was, oh, this and that, that and this, to the point that you got motherfuckers talking about, you got LA Capone's sister talking about 600 Breezy, better watch what he talking about, because that nigga, last time she checked, 600 Bree Breezy was telling D Rose, hey, hey, my nigga, go ahead and say C, they did it. Facts. That's what she said. To say them boys did it. See, they did it. I don't think that girl would go on camera and lie about that. She ain't even from they block. None of that. She ain't old block. None of that. She started hanging out with all them boys after L.A. died. And she said that. She just did a live. That's on video. Them, them ain't my words. Y'all dig what I'm saying? This shit is deeper than what it is. 
Niggas like Lil Dirk keep self snitching in his damn songs. He did a song like a couple of years ago called Hot Ones or something like that. Talking about a body and this and that. And then then this nigga Dirk talking about one of his songs, talking about oh um them broke niggas killing cab drivers. Hmm, who is that towards? So do you think Dirk is still cool? Rondo number nine is C Day? Or you don't think Dirk and them they got in they, this in-house situation them BDs got is just weird, man. I don't I don't know, man. That that shit is funky, bro. Salute the boss top. I seen that interview he did with 16 Shot Him. Hey, salute the 16 Shot Him too. 16 Shot Him, man, you the next Zach TV, bro. Do your thing, young man. Do your fucking thing. I see you, bro. Boss Top keeping his composure and cool, calm, collected, looking like an actual boss. Jess Blow in that video, he back in the hood. <laughs> My bad, Jess Blow, but it's, this nigga is locked up. Now your ass back on the block. I mean, and that's the problem. You supposed to be protecting the bag. Salute the Queen's Flip cousin when he hit that nigga Jihad during that um that interview. Cause my nigga, you supposed to protect the bag, bro. That's the money, bro. Period. This nigga King Von got Dirk in, entangled in these type of fuckery. And you niggas really believe niggas is snitching on people? Then you hear they got the fucking camera work on Dirk. Niggas don't be snitching in these cases no more. I mean niggas is still rat. Don't get me wrong. I ain't I ain't vouching for no rat cosigning none of that. But let's just call it a stack, bro. 2019 now. All you niggas is self snitching. It's called Instagram. It's called Facebook, Twitter, iPhone, Google. All that shit you niggas put all that extra into. Like I'm a YouTuber. You think if I was doing dirt or I was living my old life from when I was a young man, now now I'm gonna be on YouTube doing all that extra shit. But this what you niggas do. And they'd be like, oh, he snitch on y'all. And then when the paperwork come out, these niggas had to jump on y'all for a minute. What they do is they hold y'all to get some other type of crimes going on. They already got the evidence stacked against y'all with them cases. What they do is uh, they want to help they partner out from this county, this district, or maybe even in, in the same team. Nigga, man, I got this case for three years, a cold case. I couldn't solve this murder for a minute, bro. I need help with it. Ask this nigga you just, because I know his boy from this neighborhood over here. They might know something about this. And then, you know, you trade different, it's like trading cards. Back in the 90s, you know, we used to trade basketball cards. That's what these niggas in these fucking police stations do with y'all cases and shit. Oh, he snitched on me, and then you niggas get to talking too much. It's one thing to say another nigga's a snitch and name call, but then you niggas go, 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 go into becoming a snitch your goddamn self. Oh, he snitched. You know how I know he snitched? Because when we had did that link, it was John, he pulled a, he pulled the glove, you know what I'm saying, off right after he, he hit the dude in the side, and when he hit the dude in the side, you know, he dropped his phone, and after he dropped, all that extra shit, man. Shut the fuck up, nigga. It's called shut the fuck up, my nigga. Wait till you home or something and speak about that. Until then, ain't this supposed to be the game? Shh. He snitched. He snitched. No, my nigga. You niggas was sloppy. Ain't nobody snitching that case. You brought, number one, I don't know, no real niggas who bring some hoes with them to a situation like that. And if you gonna bring a bitch, it gotta be some bitch who got something to lose, my nigga. This bitch better have like three or four kids with you. Better have like... $80,000 in a bank and a joint account together or some shit, marriage, same uncle or cousin, some shit, bro, that time. And even then, that shit still don't be helping. These hoes still be telling. They be just quick as that, bro. What niggas you know bring a female to a lick and you niggas brought multiple females to a lick after that party? Come on, man. Come on, man. You niggas was sloppy, man. Nigga killed a goddamn cab driver, man. Hey, I can't make this shit up, man. Only you little kids get these niggas respect.